Welcome back to Local Mix, the talk show about what's going on in your town. Today, we have Greg Smith Eames with us to talk about the new sport that he thinks will be the next craze sweeping the nation. Straubing. Greg, could you talk to us about straubing? <laughs> I'm sorry, Jennifer. It's actually stabbing. Oh, that's crazy. Is it some kind of historical nautical term? Not that I'm aware of. Well, anyhow, if I wanted to try out stabbing, how would I go about joining the Professional Stabbists League? That would be pretty ambitious, Jennifer. Stabbing isn't a sport you take lightly. You'll need to train for a number of years at the amateur level before you can hone the skills you'll need to become a professional stabbist. Greg, I'm just dying to know. <laughs> Good one. What exactly is stabbing? It's, uh, it's how you put a knife inside someone else by surprise. Wait, stabbing is just stabbing? Uh, yes. How is that a sport? Ha! <laughs> Clearly, you have never tried out for a regional stabbist's meet. No! Well, if you had, you'd know there's a lot more to it than it seems. This sport is not simply the old poke and twist. You need strength, obviously, but there's also speed, finesse, and artistry. Artistry? For style points, judging can be brutal. You think they won't notice if your program says flick twist, and instead you twist flick? They notice. You your opponents? Unless you don't mind a two-tenths of a point deduction. But that's a crime! Now, hold on. Outside of a football game, a tackle is assault. Okay, so you go to the regional stabbists meet and... Determine your team placements for the year. You have teams and stabbing matches where you go to get stabbed? No, of course not. That would be insane. Oh, thank goodness. How are you ever supposed to surprise anyone with being stabbed if you meet at a predetermined time and place expecting to be stabbed? It would ruin the whole sport. Stabbing was designed for today's busy lifestyle. Our motto is, a stabbing can happen in the blink of an eye, so why not try to stab an eye? But... See, once you get your team assignments, you're ready to try and get your stab in before the next regional meet. The team with the most stabs wins, unless the other team manages to rack up some truly exquisite knife work. We fought Burlington a few years back. They were up eight stabs to four, and it looked like we might not be able to catch up. But then, we had a beautiful come-from-behind victory with a beautiful come-from-behind stab. My good friend Jonesy was able to do a triple flick overhead twist to get Burlington's top stabbist, but sadly, he and I were then on opposing teams the next year. Now, I do feel bad eliminating him from his prime- yeah. oh, ah! 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 oh my god, he's been stabbed! Ah! <sighs> Jennifer, I'd like to introduce you to my son, Justin. Ah! He's been stabbing for about six years now, but as you can see, he's already at a professional level. Justin, those are your best scores so far this year. That's phenomenal. It's a shame about the, about the deduction. About the deduction. Card, excessive celebration. Come on.